Greetings pilots and passengers. So there's a new music video out by Lil Nas X. If you know who he is, he's a rapper. He's famous for doing Old Town Road, the cowboy song a few years back, if you remember that. He's come out with a song, I think it came out back in July, but the music video has recently come out and it is very explicitly like part of the satanic agenda, if you've seen it or not. It is absolutely wild. I mean, when I watched it, I mean, things really do not surprise me and it just affirmed the agenda that is taking place before our eyes. All these celebrities like to come forward and say, oh, you're just chatting a load of rubbish. There's nothing going on and we're all just crazy tin hat wearing conspiracy theorists. And then they pull something like this and just remind us and confirm that it is actually taking place. Now, I'm not going to play the music because I don't really want to get copyrighted. <laughs> but I will go through parts of the video and we'll talk a little bit about what is really going on in the video. So at the start of the video, we are taken to what looks like the Garden of Eden with Lil Nas sat under the tree and the equivalent of a snake that has come to essentially seduce Lil Nas and it's meant to represent the fall of humanity. Lil Nas is then seduced by this weird alien snake creature uh, in a sexual way. And from what I know of what Lil Nas has said is that it's supposed to represent his coming out as gay or accepting that he's gay. I think that's what he said anyway. Now this text on the tree, I think it is Greek. And it says, since the nature has been split in two, each desires their half. And it is believed to be from Plato's symposium during Aristophanes' speech. It appears during the myth that Aristophanes recounts about how originally there were a group of double people who were conjoined, but they rose up against the gods and in retaliation Zeus split these double people in half. And now they roam the earth longing for their separated half. So I guess it can be interpreted as looking for your other half or your other part of you, your soulmate, I guess you could interpret that as. Now in the next scene, Lil Nas is being escorted, very Greek mythology like, he is a prisoner, I think he is being judged and it will be determined what is done with him and like we'll see, he's going to essentially be sentenced to go to hell I believe it is. Then we see him ascending to heaven, but actually it's gonna go completely wrong and he's gonna go to hell. It's very sexualized. Everything has to be completely sexualized. He's going down to hell on a stripper pole. Again, he is an artist who his target audience is younger people. Younger people are gonna watch this, you know, teenagers. Even younger than teenagers are going to be watching this and here we go here is satan very satanic imagery and then it gets very sexual in nature of basically giving a lap dance to satan you know lil nas literally came out and said look it's nothing to do with satanism it's not satanic at all it's making a point about the fact that everyone hated on me because i came out as gay and the struggles i had when i was gay younger before he was famous and then he kills off satan at the end and takes the crown for himself to rule hell now if that's not satanic i don't know what is he's saying it's not satanic yet it clearly 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 is incredibly satanic in nature the agenda to make this obvious and to show off what they really believe in these elites these celebrities what they have done to actually achieve this fame and fortune has never been more obvious than it is today i would say it's scary but honestly it's really just not a surprise because we know that this is part of their agenda this is part of what they do lil nas actually did do this mini apology video in which he just started apologizing and then turned around and started playing the song and basically saying that I'm glad everyone hates me and I'm glad all the Christians hate me because they put me through hell when I was coming out as gay and all this when 
it's not the point. The point that people are trying to make is highlighting the satanic agenda associated and being pushed by this video. The video is only a little part of this whole thing with the satanic agenda associated with this video and Lil Nas himself. As part of releasing the video, Lil Nas X has actually collaborated with a brand, a alternative brand to come out with a certain shoe. MSCHF, which is the company Lil Nas X has collaborated with, sells a variety of products, very random products. For example, they've sold a rubber chicken, they've sold a Jesus shoes, they just sell loads of random viral products that go for ridiculous prices or very limited edition yeah they have collaborated with lil nas x on this creation of this shoe on the website satan.shoes which is advertising the pair of shoes they have currently apparently been sold out and people can win it by tweeting to enter this competition of sorts as you see this is what it is it's a nike air max shoe which contains some red liquid and it also has a drop of human blood in it so it does actually contain human blood on the side of the shoe is the 666 which is you know is the number of the beast and luke 10 18. this quote from the bible is he replied i saw satan fall like lightning from heaven which is reference to satan himself the fall of satan but also is very satanic symbolism with the lightning if you think of other bands and other brands that use lightning in their branding in their logos and imagery acdc is a very obvious one to think of in that regard it's believed to be a reference to satan and satanic symbolism on the website you've seen images of hell and demons and devils all on the background here with what is supposed to be an image of the devil himself and then here is little Nas here with demonic eyes with the shoe and the quote itself is here which as we've said and he said to them I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven which is the bible quote on the side of the shoe we also have other imagery of what is supposed to be the devil and Jesus and a quote at the bottom says better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven so promoting the satanic agenda also on the website is pages that say oh, i saw satan and advertising the shoe itself which features the pentagram very clearly on the front and here in this image we see some very very obvious one eye symbolism all c and i symbolism which has links to many secret societies and just is a very satanic form of symbolism itself and then on this website here is a description of the shoes is a nike air max 97 which contains 60 cc's of the red ink and one drop of human blood so it does contain human blood literally does contain human blood and the pentagram is is bronze and the addition is as we've seen 666 so it will be individually numbered but it'll always have 666 on the side and on the inside as you can see is another pentagram and also the liquid itself just just moves around like we've said there is literally a drop of human blood in the shoe now usually when it comes to seeing the satanic agenda and the push of satanism onto the public by celebrities by the entertainment industry it's done in such a way that it's hidden in plain sight so only those who really sort of recognize the signs the symbols know what is taking place in this case however it is just so obvious it is so out in the open and out there and it's also very sloppy i would also say it's very sloppy and very lazy and i'm sorry but who would want to buy a pair of shoes that look like this i don't think anyone would want to really walk around in a pair of them it's just a real reminder these celebrities get where they are through making essentially deals with the devil 
and accepting to do these things and to push an agenda even though they might say oh look at me i'm the biggest christian there is or i'm a very spiritual person believe in love and light it's just a load of rubbish it's a load of bollocks interestingly enough just to finally touch on the certain shoes nike is actually suing lil nas and the company he's collaborating with because of the certain shoes and they say they do not want to be associated with them this article is from the evening standard and it says that nike is suing lil nas x certain shoes containing a drop of human blood the footwear giant nike is suing a fashion brand over the creation of modified trainers containing a drop of human blood which have as we know been dubbed certain shoes the streetwear label MSCHF has collaborated with Lil Nas X over the custom made devil themed Nike shoes which feature a pentagram pendant and a reference to Bible verse Luke 10:18, which reads I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. So a lawsuit has been filed in a court in New York seeking to distance its brand from the trainers which were produced without Nike's approval and authorization. I guess the whole to do over it is going to be spe especially over the fact that it contains a drop of real human blood. There is already evidence of significant confusion and dilution occurring in the marketplace in co including calls to boycott Nike in response to the launch of MSCHF certain shoes based on the mistaken belief that Nike has authorised and or approved this product. Nike are getting a lot of hate. I know Lil Nas X is also under a lot of flack for this move that he has decided to pull. In the actual video himself, he wore the certain shoes. So MSCHF has previously sold some Jesus shoes. So again, I would say just mocking Christianity, just mocking people's religious beliefs there, was said to contain holy water and they put 666 pairs of the $1,000 certain shoes on sale. Advertising they contain, as we know, the 60cc ink and a drop of human blood and apparently they sold out within a minute of being released online and going live so people for some reason like to spend their money on complete junk and complete waste of their hard-earned cash essentially so nike's asked the court to stop the distribution of the trainers and to seek damages for infringing and diluting its trademark and this article goes on to say about how lil nas has faced a great deal of criticism from christian groups about the shoes and saying about its perverted satanic worship again this article is probably just going to take the mick out of people criticizing the video and find an excuse to say that it is just creativity so he did this so-called apology where he just took the mic and did a tweet saying i spent my entire teenage years hating myself because of the shit y'all preached would happen to me because i was gay so i hope you are mad stay mad and feel the same anger you teach us to have towards ourselves i'm not commenting on the fact that lil nas is gay i really could not care less People can be gay if they want. People can do whatever they want to do. It doesn't bother me. We live in a free world. People can choose who they want to be. That is the whole point of living in a free country or as free as a country can be at the moment. My criticism is this huge satanic agenda that is being pushed and it is frighteningly being pushed on younger audiences. Lil Nas X is for younger audiences. He's for teenagers, younger children who are going to listen to his music and see his videos and see him. No doubt many of them will have seen the music video and obviously children and young people are very impressionable and their minds can be molded and influenced very easily. This video and the Satan shoes is just normalising Satan worship and making it seem acceptable in society, preparing people, again predictive programming, preparing people for accepting this into society which obviously the elites love to push and it's just disturbing. Again before I think in many music videos it wasn't so obvious people had to really look out for symbolism whereas this is just right in your face and you can see it. Most people couldn't really care less about this I guess and just see it as being creative and also just see it as 
typical sexual music videos that we see today but I do think people should really be paying attention to this and wake up to the fact that this disgusting stuff is taking place, the satanic side of it, become aware of it essentially. Now I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, what do you guys think about this video? Do you think it is just simply creativity? Do you think it is just pushing a satanic agenda? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I love to hear what you guys have to say. I'd like to say that if you'd like to support the channel, please subscribe today to Fly Today and get ready to take flight. Turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video. Like and share this video with others. If you'd like to support the channel even further, remember you can donate to my coffee page or my PayPal. Donations will go towards helping to create this content and fuel my rocket ship. <laughs> Hope you all have a really wonderful blessed day guys. Stay true, stay awake and stay blessed. And as always, fly high, fear less.